Hello friends, you're watching India Today Tech and in this video, we're going to unbox the Motorola Gamepad. It is one of the few second generation accessories, uh, the Moto Mods accessories that were launched by Motorola recently. And this one is available at 699 on Flipkart exclusively. So you can buy it on Flipkart at 7000 rupees. And let's take a look at its specifications first. So the controller comes with a 1035mAh battery built in has a 3.5M headphone jack and a USB Type-C port for charging. So that is pretty much it uh, regarding the specifications. It's a gamepad after all. But the good thing is that the battery comes built in on the device, which means that it will not be using phone's battery. And also since the contact points are on the controller itself, it will be very much faster than other Bluetooth enabled controllers. So here is the gamepad guys. And with that, we have a small box as well. Let's take a look at what's inside the box first. There is a small strap, which uh, you can use to uh, lug the gamepad. And then there is a quick start guide and a safety regulations manual. So other than this, there's nothing else inside the box. So let me take out the gamepad quickly. And the first thing you notice is that it's quite a well-built uh, accessory. Uh, we have seen that most of the second generation mods are very well-built and are very, um, and are much more refined than the first generation ones. For example, the speaker that we were just testing the other day uh, has a much better workmanship now. Anyways, the Moto Gamepad uh, is quite a big accessory. Uh, it extends the phone and for a gamepad also it's quite a, a huge gamepad but it's not very heavy, it's lightweight and we'll see once we attach the phone how heavy it feels. But uh, there are buttons on both the sides so you can easily use it with both your hands uh, to uh, maneuver or toggle the game controls. There is thumbstick or joystick as you may call it on both the right and the left side and you can also click them. Then there is an arrow pad or the D-pad on the left and action keys on the right. There are small buttons for in-game settings and there is a home key as well. At the bottom there is a 3.5M audio jack and a type c usb port for charging the joystick and the back has textured finish to it which gives a good grip and also it is rounded to give a very good in hand feel also you'll notice that there are buttons on the back and the top so these are different keys while at the back as well you'll have different functional keys which we'll see in a moment how they work out if you look closely you'll see that there are grooves around the joystick which aids in grip and uh, a very thoughtful design uh, from Motorola. So this is the place where the phone will rest and these are the contact points that connect the phone to the joystick. So the joystick supports all Z series phones from Motorola. We have the Z2 Play that we'll be using uh, in this video, but you can connect the Moto Z as well, the Moto Z2 and the Z Play as well. So as soon as you connect to the phone, you'll get a prompt to install an application, which you can do from the Play Store. Once downloaded, this app will list all the games that are supported by the joystick and so that you can download them from the Play Store and use them on your phone. Now, another thing I would like to show you is that once the phone is attached to the joystick, it will not fall off. Even if you rotate the joystick upside down, or if you jerk it like this, the phone will not fall off. And if you need to remove the phone, you will need to push your finger through the camera and the phone will come out. So again, the good part about the Moto Mods is that the phone connects to the mods directly and not wirelessly, which means that it will not only save the battery on the phone, but it will also provide better latency. But on the downside, this also means that the mods are only compatible with Motorola phones and that too the Z series Motorola phones. 
you will not be able to use the joystick with any other phone like iPhone or Samsung Galaxy phones. Using the Moto Game Pad transports you to the bygone era when handheld gaming consoles like PSP were a big hit. The buttons and sticks on the Moto Game Pad are very tactile and responsive and the presence of two shoulder buttons take the gameplay closer to what you get on console controllers. Though the Moto Gamepad is not that chunky or compact for a perfect in-hand grip. But then again, there are rarely any controllers available in the market that are custom made for your Android device and pair with them so seamlessly like the Gamepad does. At 7000 rupees, the Moto Gamepad surely feels expensive. It is costlier than even an Xbox or PlayStation controller. But if you own a Moto Z phone and play a lot of games, it definitely makes sense. Let us know your thoughts on the Moto Gamepad in the comment section below. Also, if you've liked this video, hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel to get latest videos on technology like this. Thank you for watching.